I wrote in my original blog, I wrote, my goal is to become the best person in the world at this. Okay, and I very, it's a very lofty goal, obviously, but I kept that in mind the whole way through, and I ensured that I did become the best guy at this. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. It is September 6th of 2020, and today is one year with no alcohol. Kaboom. So I wanted to make a kind of a special video about that um, with setting a, a goal and then having the discipline to accomplish that goal, okay? So I grew up with social anxiety, general anxiety, okay, different panic disorders, etc., looping thoughts, some obsessive compulsive tendencies, okay? That was a big blessing in terms of being able to hyperanalyze skill games and be able to continue to evolve and optimize them. Okay, but at the same time, it was a hindrance for social settings, okay? I was the shyest guy out of 750 people in my high school, okay? The shyest guy by far, afraid to even talk to guys, okay? Afraid to talk to anyone, okay? Afraid to even go into public and encounter different situations. And once I got into college, okay, and I started drinking alcohol, that would kind of like lessen all the, the mental chatter and all the hyper analysis, okay, and kind of smooth things out and kind of lubricate things socially, okay? So then by going out to clubs, three, four, five, six, seven nights a week, okay, for a while I was doing six, seven nights a week, I would always be drinking, doing night game, okay? And then when I wanted to do day game, I used drinking as a crutch as well to do day game, okay? And then when I was on my dates, okay, I was either doing wine dates at the house or I'd be having margaritas in public. But then it got to the point where I'd be stacking dates all throughout the day, drinking on all those dates, drinking with all the different rotation girls, drinking at the clubs, okay, and it very quickly turned into a bad habit, okay, and, a, and an addiction. So, and this has happened to other advanced guys as well in this game, okay, when you're always around the, the social scene, Okay, and before I got into formal game and pickup, I was DJing at clubs, so I was around the nightlife and that kind of stuff as well. Um, so I decided to permanently stop, okay? I don't plan on drinking anymore for the rest of my life. One year ago today, okay? I was actually very worried that my game would suffer, okay? But if anything, it's gone up even further, okay? I'm not relying on alcohol as a crutch anymore. I can run dates, no problem. I no longer have those crippling anxieties that I had through high school and, and into early college. Okay, I've moved past that. I've now become extroverted and confident and outgoing and you know, usually the life of the party even without any alcohol, okay? Now a lot of guys say like, how do you, you, know, how do you go and interact socially? What I'll do is I'll order a non-alcoholic beer or I will order a soda water with a lime, okay? Or I'll just get a regular water. It's not as big of a deal as people think it is, okay? Lots of my clients don't drink. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. On dates, um, I will keep alcohol at the house for girls that come over if they want it. So when a girl comes over for a date, I'll say, oh, I have wine or I have beer, or sometimes I'll have like a vodka or whatever. I'll say, which kind do you want? Or you can have water. And they'll drink and I'll just drink a 0% beer or I'll just drink water or something like that. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, what has this done overall? It's allowed me to make big gains in the gym. Okay, I've put on about, I went from 89 and a half kilograms, about 197 pounds. Um, two and a half months ago to currently 97 kilograms, okay, around 215 pounds. As you can see here, I am the biggest size of my life, okay, because before I would be waking up hungover all the time and I wouldn't be able to get the right amount of meals and alcohol inhibits uh, protein synthesis, et cetera, et cetera. So I was able to accomplish gym goals, okay. I was also able to think more clearly, have more focus, just kind of lessen all that brain fog have more energy, have a, have a better mood overall. Um, while alcohol can be nice for lubricating social situations, um, ultimately there's just a whole host of downsides. Okay, and for those of you that watch my channel, I'm all about longevity, health optimization, etc. This was kind of my one big vice that I needed to get rid of, okay? So I did that. Um, not just to accomplish my uh, fitness goals, but with the company, we've been with this eight-week mentorship uh, that, I would never have gotten that off the ground if I was just drinking all the time. But guys are absolutely demolishing. Okay? I just um, had a guy graduate this past week that came on as a virgin. Okay? He had tried a whole bunch of stuff before, wasn't getting any results. And we just spoke on the phone today, eight lays. Okay? It's an eight-week program, so he got about a lay per week. And 
he still has a bunch of work to do, but we're rapidly fixing a whole bunch of the stuff, okay, and he's having the results just coming streamlined now. Okay, if you're interested, we do have limited spots in the next round of those eight week programs. Uh, you can apply in the link below, fill out the survey. You will get on a 30 minute call with myself. I will go over exactly how the system works. I will diagnose your game where you're currently at, find your weak spots, tell you my plan for massively boosting your results. Okay, and then we'll just get you to a very advanced level very quickly. Okay, the link is in the description for that. So. I just wanted to share this news. Okay, it is a bit of a private thing. Okay, something that I was struggling with, um, but I beat it. Okay, and it, it, the war is not over against it. I don't have like urges to drink and all that stuff anymore, but I know. Okay, just from doing an analysis of all the negative stuff that came from drinking, I know that I, I never want to touch stuff again. Okay, so I wanted to make a point here about kind of getting uh, control over any vices you may have. Okay, some people have a porn addiction. Some people have a food addiction where they're eating fast food. Some people have drug problems, okay, whatever it may be. A lot of the, a lot of the different addictions tie back into the same dopamine reward centers. Okay, people can be addicted to social media. Okay, how many people are watching this right now in their free time are just scrolling through their Facebook newsfeed for hours on end? Okay, or scrolling through Instagram for hours on end. And these little dopamine hits that are inter intermittent uh, kind of get you hooked on that stuff, okay? So the point of this video is I wanted to share that, but I also wanted to give you guys encouragement that A, you can stop bad things okay, that are in your life and get a, a control and a handle on them to you know, make the rest of your life much better. Okay? And all you have to do is just make a firm commitment. Okay, I said, enough is enough. I'm done with this shit, right? Done drinking for life, okay, so I've, I did the research, I saw lots of people that had tried to moderate drinking or this and that, it doesn't work, okay, when you're, when you're used to drinking excessively, it's not an easy task to just have a couple drinks, whatever, all the, all the rules go out the window once you go down that path. So you just need to have resolve and discipline, okay? I like the movie uh, John Wick, with John Wick 1, 2, and 3, I was just watching that again recently, I kind of relate to that character a lot, he's like a veteran in his craft, okay, he's an assassin, but in my field, I view myself as the top guy in this game, okay, and he, they keep saying throughout the different uh, three-part series, they say he's a man of focus, a man of sheer will, a man of discipline, etc., etc., um, and it's, you can take your, your life to really great heights, okay, when you get a little bit of discipline. If you can set up a plan for the gym, or you can set up a plan for game, or you can set up a plan for expanding your business, and then you just relentlessly execute on that, okay? And it's not gonna be an easy road, but when you have that goal in mind and you're committed to it, you'd be surprised at how powerful just that core conviction and determination can be, okay? So it's kind of like a more serious video here. But really, you know, you're gonna run into all kinds of failures in the game. You're gonna run into all kinds of failures in business, okay? You're gonna hit plateaus in the gym, okay? And the easy way out, is always waiting for you, okay? You can go fucking sit on the couch again, you can, you can just start eating shit food again, you can just stop going to the gym, okay? You can give up on, on the dating stuff, okay? Or with business, okay, when you, when you hit uncomfortable situations. But really, what makes a man, okay, is his ability to get back up and fight back, fight back stronger, okay? Not letting defeat knock him down, not getting discouraged and giving up, okay? The easy way, is to give up, okay? When I first started getting really into the game, I wrote in my original blog, I wrote, my goal is to become the best person in the world at this, okay? And I very, it's a very lofty goal, obviously, but I kept that in mind the whole way through, and I ensured that I did become the best guy at this, okay? And I, you know, that's debatable, this and that, okay? I don't know anyone that's banged over a thousand girls with a real count in the game. Um, and I know a lot of the best guys. Okay, the next best guys I know are in the 500 to 650 range. Okay, and they're, they're my coaches on my team. Um, a lot of the very best guys in this game right now with real counts are around 500, okay? Which is half of my count. And that, again, it's not all about lay count, et cetera, et cetera. But it's a good objective measure of skill. But I kept this in mind, I wanted to be the best. Okay, so I relentlessly optimized the system. I relentlessly found weak spots and improved them. I relentlessly looked for other guys that are better than me at any given area in the entire game process. And then I would talk to them, learn why what they were doing is better, 
and then adapt accordingly, okay? And that whole process over time really can applies to everything else. You can do this with the gym, you can do this with business. You have a really solid plan from a top expert, okay, who's there to guide you and mentor you through the whole process. And then as difficulties come up, as you should expect, they're able to guide you through them, okay, get you back on track, new data comes in, you adapt your strategy, you make it better for the next time around. Okay, you're not gonna nail your gym goals on try one. You're not gonna nail your business goals on, on try one. You're not gonna nail your pickup goals on try one. And that's why 99% of people just fucking give up, okay? Mediocrity is very, very common, okay? But this life is very short and there's no purpose, in my view, to live an average life, okay? You should, if you're gonna choose to master a craft, you should go 110%, okay? I've met a lot of guys in the business world that are you know, multimillionaires, tens of millions of dollars, et cetera, and they tell me that they watch motivational videos. They, they shared some motivational videos with me, and you know, th these videos are centered around, there's a, there's a whole, you're going against an upstream current, and there's all these, like basically like tributaries off the river that are just ready to wash you away. Okay, there's, there's like a whole army against you looking for chinks in your armor. There's, you know, you, you, there's so much against you when you're trying to do something great or trying to master a craft or trying to accomplish a big goal or get a control on an addiction. Okay, and it's really just you versus yourself because other things are gonna be against you, okay? But the, the only factor that matters is whether you choose to persevere and actually win or if you choose to give up and just admit defeat, okay? And defeat is the easy way out, okay? Defeat is always waiting there, okay? You can just go, I could go to the fucking store right now and just start drinking again, okay? I know where that's going to lead. Or I could just give up, right, when, I, when I'm hitting like a plateau in the gym, okay? But I know where that's going to lead. I'm not going to accomplish my, my goal physique. Um, and so on and so forth, okay? Even, even with the game, you know, facing countless Rejection. I've never been a, a massive spam approacher. I'm more of a calculated sniping one shot one kill type of guy But that being said You get tons of rejections along the way. That's just part of the game You get rejections when you approach you get because surprise surprise even if your game's extremely extremely good Some girls have boyfriends some girls are in a bad mood some girls are not interested etc etc and You know the, the ability to have that's why I talk about emotional resilience. Okay the ability to persevere and not let this stupid idea of state and state crashing get involved to, to handicap you and fuck up your results, okay? I can get blown out six times in a row and then if I bring my A game to that stunner on approach number seven, that's gonna make the difference in getting that girl if she's available, okay? If I come in like, oh, I've just been getting destroyed all night, I'm a fucking loser, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, it's gonna become a self-fulfilling prophecy and I'm gonna lose the girl, okay? So without f too much further ado, never fucking give up, okay? That's the message. Go forth and prosper. Um, we're really looking for, we're being pretty selective too. We're looking for guys that are extremely motivated, ready to smash up this game, ready to take things to an advanced level very quickly in a matter of one to two months, okay? If you're interested in that or finding out more about that, click the link in the description, jump on a free 30 minute call with me. I'll explain all the details. No obligation, if it's not a right fit for you or not a right fit for us, we'll let you know or you'll let me know. No problem either way, okay? And we did lower the price fairly significantly due to coronavirus and the pandemic and people being out of work and having financial troubles, okay? So it's gonna be the lowest it's at uh, for a while currently, okay? And the spots are limited. We do have limited program sizes for this until more people graduate, okay? We're churning out beasts. We're making virgins better than advanced guys in the community within two months, okay? So think about that, okay? But thank you guys so very much. Um, 10,000 subscribers. I'm gonna try to really hit a whole bunch of viral hits to snowball the channel. That seems to be the, the major factor for a channel really exploding. Um, yeah, so keep a lookout for that. I have a videographer and cinematographer out here now in Brazil. I'm gonna be utilizing that. There's just 42 beaches on this island. I'm gonna be taking the camera to a lot of exotic locations with great views and this kind of stuff and have some fancy production and nail some viral hits so we can really explode the channel. But please support. I am going back to daily videos again. I know I've said that for the past week or two, but I'm actually 
fully committing to it now. So you will have daily videos again. I'm going to focus very heavily as always on delivering value and breaking new ground in this game. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe below if you have not already. I'm John Anthony. Dare to dream. Control your fucking negative problems in your life and accomplish your goals. Okay. Because otherwise you're just going to get lost in the, the sea of mediocrity. Okay. And there's no fun in that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.